Well, welcome back to it. You're still watching XA right here on Cape Town TV, the people's channel where we serve you nothing but the best entertainment, entertainment, and everything else that ends with ainment. Uh, you are joined by two of the most beautiful co hosts, um, ushering you all the way to an amazing episode. Also, make sure that your life insurance is squared up because Killer Blonde is with me today. Ah! <laughs> Hi there guys, it's Elvisman here and we are busy presenting with who's cheaper today, right? Siva. Siva, nice. And Siva was actually with us um, last time yeah. and we didn't get to finish the conversation, mm. but I'm glad you guys came back. You like that people that you invite to your house that don't want to leave. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> we the ones that don't want to leave because we want to know more about you guys. And the last time we spoke, you guys had an event. But before we get into that, um, and you, we want to know a, a, a small recap for the people at home who saw you for the first time today and also for the killer blonde who's seeing you for the first time today. Mm. Just a brief, you know, background about what Siba does. So Tsiba is a social enterprise, uh, it is three part, we have a trust, we have a business school and we have an uh, academy mm -hmm. where we do skills development. So what Tsiba is all about is we want to empower the youth, bring back that youth power. We don't want to have just people working in corporate, we yes. want entrepreneurs to boost mm. the economy mm. and an employment. So that's what we're all about. That's dope, dope. Nice, that's actually amazing. So you guys are literally training youngsters from school, I understand, from, from, from getting your matriculant, you can take your gap year and then you guys can come through actually to you guys and get some sort of qualification to actually qualify for a degree as well from yes, my understanding that's true that's amazing and especially the mere fact that uh, you guys said entrepreneurships we don't have a lot of kids that have that hustle and the drive and especially they mm -hmm. know how to get there when at the end of the day so many kids have so many things that they want to do yeah. when there's just you guys sitting there saying hey if you got a diploma or certificate hey let's help you out let's get yeah. the degrees going let's get some entrepreneurship and the motivation that you guys have yeah. for the youth i absolutely love it I love Beautiful. it too. And they were here last time. They had an event um, that took mm. place on the 6th of November, mm. if I do remember correctly. Correct. How was the event? Uh, let's, let's start there. How was the event for you? Yeah. <laughs> Personally. Listen to the people. Personally. The event actually was actually enlightening. Seeing okay. business students bring in their artistic self. So it was... Mike in the background, <laughs> <laughs> running around like a headless chicken, trying to make sure that we had perfect angles, everyone's sound was great. But I think the, in, the most important part was when we gathered together and watched our students di display their yes. art. Mm. So for me, the highlight was seeing someone I knew mm -hmm. as a praise singer do a song and seeing yeah. a, a student who I know is at the top of his academic game yeah come and do um, digital digital uh, DJing. Yeah. It was like, oh wow. <laughs> I've never thought I could see something like this, yes. but the diverse arts mm. that the students um, have, they yeah. shared it with us, so that was the highlight for me. Wow. wow, that's actually amazing, especially when it comes to arts, because a lot of kids think that I don't need to finish school, or I don't need matric, yeah. I just, I'm gonna go on my talents, type of thing. And then here, yeah, you guys come along and say, you know what, with your singing, your acting, and your dancing, and yeah. whatever, we can also then give you your degree, we so that, both. you know, you can set up your own business and all that. That is, that is absolutely amazing. And I don't want to know from Mike, AKA Black Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> ladies, um, <yeah>. ladies. <laughs> Come on now, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. Black Amazon. For the event that you guys had, um, because I know you were speaking a lot about the event last time and you were excited for it. Um, did you guys achieve what you set out to achieve? Because mm -hmm. obviously you had the event with something in mind saying that we want our students to leave with, with this specific Mind, idea yeah. or mindset. Um, do you feel like it, it, it was a success in that particular way? Um, <laughs> your question, eh? Yeah, we <laughs> don't play here. Okay, cool. Um, on, seriously, I, I think actually we achieved more than we thought we would achieve, mm -hmm. in a way. Uh, even though it was actually the first time that we've done that event, so mm -hmm. um, and another aspect, um, as she said, that they got to see that uh, we are, we just came in, by the way. We're just doing an ACB. All the people okay. who are doing this event. Uh, we're not even in the degree program yet. We're just wow. ACB students. 
uh, which is just a one-year course, you know. Yeah. So, so they got to see that they, we've got students who come into the school and they actually excited about even staying in the school mm -hmm. because the event was just basically about um, about the excitement of being at Tiba, um, showing off Tiba in some sort of way that um, I can be a Tiba and. I can be living like this. I can yeah. be kind of showing my. I can show that I have this talent, yeah. and Tiba allows me to do that. You know, so, so like yeah, we achieved more than we thought we would achieve. I love it. And it was yeah. dope. It was nice. I I love it. And and what did people miss? Um, for those who weren't there, were you at the event? Yeah, I it personally wasn't at the event. Oh, and you were live streamed it. Yeah, he was like, he was more focused on what happened. <laughs> But um, being a third year student and at the end of my, um, my journey, I can say that in the world of um, lockdown and mm -hmm. coronavirus and all those type of things, it was, it was, it was, it was something different. Yeah. But also the de looking deeper into it is also, um, it was bringing, bringing, like being a business student and for me personally, we've never done anything at Etiba. Yeah. I don't know, Etiba doing artwork, doing poems, doing that, etc. Yeah. So, Bringing children, bringing students to that level, and bringing the audience to that, it was like um, just showing what difference they can, what difference yeah. you can make, yeah. and what difference the arts can make. And I believe that the arts can make a huge difference. That is amazing, mm. especially just the motivation behind it. And especially, like I was saying earlier on, that so many kids are interested in this. And I mean, you were also saying during lockdown to have an opportunity to showcase your talents amongst other kids. I mean, you guys have brought youth together, which yeah. something and from different worlds to top it all off, which doesn't happen on a regular basis. And now top it all off, it's also educational. Exactly. So it's like, mom, I, you know, your parents win and we win. So one, two, three. Exactly. You have no excuse for me to become an artist anymore. Exactly. And is that what, what, what Siba is essentially all about? Like I said, we want to bring the holistic student. Mm -hmm. We want to develop that kind of students who can walk out and say, I am ready to be a future business leader. Yeah. Whether it is in the arts or whether it is in um, whatever way they want to stray in, like maybe IT. But we want to say that we know that we have given Mike all the tools that he needs mm -hmm. to perform whatever oh, duty is going forward. Wow, tools. that wow. is amazing. Um, that's all about the event. We do want to chat to you guys again, so do not go anywhere. We are going to take a quick breather though, so make sure you hit us up on all of our social media handles. I always get the handles wrong because it's the handles is always changing. Do you know the handles? I do not. I'm a 50 year old person. I'm, I only learned what handles was last week. Do not ask me. Go for it. <laughs> So you must make sure you catch us on all the handles and also on our YouTube page you can catch us there some of your favorite episodes. We'll be right back.